بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين This is a continuation of the last video when we talk about the pendulum of life Remember I give you this example that our life is always swinging from left to right from evil to goodness from sadness to happiness but what's important is we do not allow this to swing further and further away but to go towards the center this is we call the centering process and in Islam the centering process is very important how do we Muslim center ourselves for the 80s they have no center they cannot have any center because they are always living in the state of anxiety because they have no future for example even Batrak Russell the great atheistic philosopher says finally at death everything will be in chaos in the whole destruction of a universe in total destruction so there's nothing left so all your glory all your heroism all your research all your greatness will all be gone so they have no hope so how can if they have no hope of the future they can even their now is always in the state of anxiety because they have nothing to hang on to so in islam we have allah to hang on to so it's very important for us to understand that in whatever circumstances that we are living in whatever situation that we are living we have a future and our future transcend this world our future transcend the physical realm because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us a spiritual being to live in this world having a a psycho spiritual experience that means we have psychological experience we have uh, spiritual experience we have physical experience which i will elaborate later inshallah in the next video but what is important is that when we understand this we will be able to then anchor ourselves with dua there are many many dua where of the holy prophet muhammad sallam, where he teaches us about how to ask allah to protect us from sadness and despair. So, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika minal Allahumma inni a'udhu bika minal hammi wal hazan That means, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from sadness and from anxiety. So, this is a short dua or long dua where it has continuation to this dua where we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the sadness of the past or the anxiety of the future. So we can use this as our daily dua, daily muraqaba with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to think in our own language, Ya Allah, I seek you, uh, seek your help to protect me from extended sadness. And I also seek your help, Ya Allah, to protect me from continuous anxiety of the future. So in that way, we would then be able to anchor ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then we do our normal prayer our, our prayer, our zikir, our muraqabah to get closer and closer to Allah so each time we face a situation we go back to Allah and there are many many examples that we can go for example uh, Allah, Allah is most forgiving uh, Allah is most rahim, most merciful so when we are in sadness we can program our inner speech all the time as you breathe in, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafoor, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, merciful and compassionate. So you can breathe in, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafoor, Ya Rahim, or Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Ghafoor, huh? Ya Allah, Ya Ghafoor, Ya Wadud. So you can find one or two or three Asma Al Husna so that when you are in a situation where you have no hope, you always go back and have hope in the Creator of the universe. Because He created us. He knows the inner recess of our heart. He knows all our difficulties. He knows all our inner speech. So, because of that, when we surrender and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His help is near. Because He says, when you ask me, huh? I'm near. Inni kari. I'm near. So that I answer the prayer of those who call upon me. So, use the beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the dua of our Prophet Muhammad SAW as a template. Use it in your own language. Uh, for example, like the dua I was telling you, you can do it in Arabic, but if it's easier for you to say, Ya Allah, I seek you, I seek your protection from sadness, and I seek your protection from anxiety, and give me the peace and tranquility in this world and the hereafter. So in that way, 
we would have connection with Allah. And this is the basis of how we can have the love of Allah and the love of the beloved Sayyidina Muhammad wasallam, and we anchor ourselves in this deen. And inshallah, by doing so, your swing of the past and the anxiety of the future will always be on the path of Sakina. Peace, tranquility, peace, tranquility, peace, tranquility, happiness, fulfillment, success. As the Caliph of Allah, striving every day, remember, striving, inshallah, to make ourselves good, to help others to be good, and make this world good and pleasing unto Allah and all these good creatures as we live our life being the true and sincere servant of Allah and His Khalifa on His life. Remember this concept. We are His Khalifa. We are the chosen creature to lead this world, to become His vicegerent, and to do good and help others to be good and to be good. Inshallah, see you in the next.